snap his neck. Okay, yeah, that's how you kill it really quickly. Yeah, there's no reason, unless it's an emergency, to be wandering out in a blizzard. The blizzard comes up, your tracks are gonna be useless, most likely end up with snow blindness. It's just kind of death. Is that a dead body? I'll tell you this from personal experience. If you've seen one dead body, you've seen them all. Hey, I'm King of Phillips. My background is journalism, anthropology, and surviving in the wild, which I actually prefer to urban environments. Now, the next game is The Long Dark, which sounds really, really cold, and that is a very unusual survival space, so I'm excited to see how it goes. There's things I need to see. Mackenzie, say. not now. There's... Just let me tell you. Well, shut up for a second. Playing in a snowstorm, I kind of feel like something bad is gonna happen. Up, oh, we're going down. They're holding hands. This isn't good. We've got trees. We've got impact. Hope oh, the stars are pretty. There's that positive mental attitude I always talk about. Oh, man. Yeah. Okay, so we've got an impalement there. Uh, yeah. And outside of a survival situation, you do not want to remove an impalement, but I'm guessing no one's coming to get you here in the next couple of hours. So go for it, my friend. You're taking stock. Clearly, you're going to need a little bit of first aid. If you're bleeding, you are going to want to stop that. Oh, it looks like there's some kind of a cave. I would probably go ahead and use that fire and light myself some crap on fire to get some warmth. And he did exactly that. Look at that smart man. In this snowy environment, you're really gonna wanna consider shelter. Cause again, it goes back to the rule of threes. Three minutes without air, three days without water, three weeks without food. But you're really looking at about three hours without being able to regulate your body temperature. If there's a cave with animal bones in it, I would probably check to see how fresh they are. Because at some point a cave was probably utilized by some kind of an animal taking shelter, maybe a hibernating bear. But if there's nothing in there and you can light a fire, you're probably you can be able to keep most things away. So this guy has decided he is going to go somewhere, which probably is not the best course of action. I personally would stay put. Now he's climbing. I wouldn't do that. Like if you get hurt, everything's slippery and cold. He's got some kind of a plant there. It looks like it is rose hips, which is edible. Okay, if you know that, harvest them. You've got a little bit of food there. That's good. Grass you can also use. There are a lot of pine trees, conifers around. You can use the pine needles. You can make tea. Oh, there's the plane. Oh, there you go. Well, you can probably salvage bits and pieces off of this plane and use them for things. Yeah, there you go. Pick stuff up. You've got a coat. That's good. First aid kit. You're gonna need that, buddy, because you are bleeding. Lichen, you can eat lichen. Most mosses and lichens you can eat. There's not a ton of nutritional value, but beggars can't be choosers, so down it goes. He's looking for stones, and it looks like he is tracking something. Oh, rabbits. All right, he's got bunnies. Food would not be my main concern right now. I would definitely go after a shelter first. But hey, look, if there's a really big rock and a really slow rabbit, you might be able to kill it and get yourself some protein. It's been here recently. Could it have this been looks it? like someone else maybe built a fire ring there. I've got a frozen lake there. If you can break through that, maybe you could do some fishing. But this guy is determined. Small game. Okay, he got one. Realistically, that's probably not going to happen. You'd be better off setting a snare. Snap his neck. Snap his neck. Okay. Yeah, that's how you kill it really quickly. You're gonna wanna skin it. You're gonna wanna gut it. That's good meat. You can also eat the liver and the heart. Interesting thing about rabbits is they're actually very, very lean. They don't have a lot of fat on them. So if you consistently eat just rabbit, after a few days, it's gonna make you sick. So you want things that are more fatty. Fish, if you can get to them. Okay, so we've got some kind of a radio tower. This is a crate. Scenic view, so there's probably a road there. Is that a dead body? I'll tell you this from personal experience. If you've seen one dead body, you've seen them all. I would go through his pockets and take his clothing, honestly. And I know everyone's wondering, so I'll just tell you this right now. If it comes down to eating him, you just donner party his ass. And I mean that literally, start with the ass. Well, this is a score. There's like a nice house with a porch. I'd get there as quickly as I possibly could. Oh, it's a village. Oh, there's smoke in the fireplace. Okay. Oh, we're looking pretty good. There's another dead body. There's an ax and a bloody dude. What happened to you? Now, if you ate the first one, you're kind of full, so you don't need to eat this one. But at least you've got leftovers. There's a lot of blood all over the place, you guys. I'm, I'm feeling a little creeped out. Do you want to follow the blood? It's like a scary movie. Don't go in there. Hey, wake up. Do you want to wake up the guy with the shotgun? Do you? Make the wrong move. 
don't say the wrong thing, you'll see how good a shot I am. If you don't shoot me, I will share my bunny rabbit with you. We're gonna cook the rabbit. This guy's got a really nice house, so maybe you can just stick around there. Maybe he's got a phone, you could call for help. Maybe he's got some spices, you could really prepare that rabbit well. Maybe he's got a car, you could get the hell out of there. Fresh lake whitefish, and it's cooked. Oh, good, okay, so we've got food. Dog food, uh, be somewhere on a scale between rabbit and human flesh. It honestly depends on the dog food. Is it gonna be amazing and delicious? Are you gonna prefer it over human flesh? Yeah, probably. Man, there's more dead bodies. You've either got a mass murder or you've got an all-you-can-eat buffet, depending on how you want to look at it. A snare, that's good. Go with the snare, man. Like, that's so much better than trying to throw rocks at rabbits. If you've got the necessities for a snare and you can make them very simply, you are way better off setting up a snare on an animal trail. He is taking stock of his inventory. That's good. He's going to set up the snare. Oh, nice. I'm very happy to hear that. Way better than throwing rocks at bunnies. Got a fishing tackle, it's got hooks, this is good. Could do some ice fishing. Again, fish is a great source of protein. All right, there he goes, he's gonna do some ice fishing. Great, taking up a new hobby, you know? He's like, I've never done this, I've always wanted to, this is fun. Now I'm surviving and I have to ice fish. Nice, okay, got some salmon, got some fat, that's good, we want that. This guy's eating better than I did today. Who's in the survival situation here? I ate McDonald's in my car and this guy's grilling him with salmon. It's not fair. Shooting a wolf. You can eat wolf. The wolf is probably not gonna attack you. In the movies, they like to teach you that wolves are gonna come after you and eat you. And the reality is, it's a wild animal. And if it's hungry, if it's injured, if it's habitated, if it has rabies, it might come after you. But a human to a wolf is kind of like a truffle burger to a bald eagle. It's gonna be like, what the hell is that? But all right, maybe I'll try it. Oh, well, now you've got a deer. This guy's gonna be able to invite friends over. Too bad they're all dead. I mean, without a gun, hunting a deer would be really, really, really tough. That would be a massive waste of your energy. You really want to go after small game like rabbits and squirrels and things like that. And again, with a snare, but he's got a gun. Took down an elk. Nice. All right. You got a lot of meat there. Gut it, skin it. You can smoke it. You can freeze it. This guy's not going hungry. He's actually going to gain weight. You can pick him up and be like, bro, your pants don't fit. Usually if a predator is attacking you, it's either defensive, meaning you are invading their space, threatening their food source, or they're protecting their young. So at that point, if they're already riled up, they're probably not gonna be like, I'm gonna get you, oh, a rabbit. If it's offensive and they're looking at you as food, it depends on honestly how zoned in on you they are. Yeah, there's no reason, unless it's an emergency, to be wandering around in a blizzard. Hypothermia, snow blindness, it's just kind of death. Blizzard comes up, your tracks are gonna be useless. You're gonna most likely end up with snow blindness where you basically sunburn your eyes. You're gonna have a really hard time getting back. He's just like, you know what? This is a good time to go ice skating. I like the snow, it's so magical. Frozen's my favorite movie. I just wanna be out here. Not the best idea. So bears don't really hibernate out in the open like that. If it is, you might wanna ask him why he's there. This is probably a grizzly, so just lay down. You're not gonna fight a grizzly unless it's trying to eat you and then you better beat the hell out of it because it's down to you or him. More vicious wolves. I don't know where this place is, but they are historically racking up the statistical incidents of wolf attacks, especially when you're shooting at them. Oh, it looks like the wolf caught something though. What's the idea here that you want the wolf's food? How about you scare the wolf off, take the food. You know, in Alaska, they say that you're actually better off with bear spray than a shotgun because when a bear is bearing down on you at about 30 miles an hour, which is how fast they run, you better be able to take that bear down in the heart and drop it on the spot before it hits you. Otherwise, you're just gonna piss it off. Bear spray will at least irritate it enough. They'll maul you a little bit and then leave. Oh, now I've got the Aurora Borealis and a flare and a wolf. Well, if this isn't Instagrammable, I don't know what is. 
a flare would probably scare away a wolf. Yeah, as would your presence, because they don't want to be around you. Antiseptic is good. Most puncture wounds are not a good thing to have easily infected, especially from animal bites. These are animals that are out there licking their butts and eating raw meat. So yeah, it could cause an infection. You wanna wrap that up and if you see that it's getting infected, go ahead and, and unwrap it and let it breathe. Ah, you faded into the long dark. We know what that means, you're dead. All right, so that was the long dark. That was surviving in the Canadian wilderness in the middle of winter. And then there was this whole subplot with like a mass murderer and lots of dead bodies that you can eat in the survival situation. We learned that today. All right, guys and girls, thank you for joining us. For more Gameology videos, head over to Facebook and YouTube. Don't eat the brain. If there's any kind of bacteria and stuff, it's gonna be there, but you can actually eat human flesh. Ask the cannibals. But you probably don't wanna do that if you've got all those bunnies around, just, just saying. There's a house, you guys. Let's cut this. <laughs>